This is a patient who came in with abdominal pain, got a CT scan that showed some dilated bile ducts, and then got an MRI to further evaluate this. And so we look at the MRI sequence, the patient's quite sick. We can see a lot of abnormality in the lungs with effusions and consolidations. There's also a pleural catheter over here at the right lung base. Let's focus on the gallbladder and biliary tree. This is the T2 fat sat sequence, so we can immediately see that the gallbladder is quite distended. Right, so it's much bigger than we'd like it to be. There's all these fill-in defects over here, over here, another one over here. These are gonna be stones, so there's another filling defect floating in the gallbladder right over there. So distended gallbladder with filling defects, we can see that the wall is a little bit thickened and there's all this pericholecystic fluid and inflammatory chain surrounding it. And so all these findings are consistent with acute cholecystitis. If we look at the liver parenchyma adjacent to the gallbladder and we window, a little bit, we can see that uh, potentially there's a little bit of high T2 signal in that liver parenchyma suggesting that there's some reactive edema in that location. If we window uh, normally again, we can see that the biliary tree is a little bit dilated. If we follow the common bile duct right about there, we can start to see these layering T2 hypo-intense fill-in defects within the distal common bile duct. These findings are compatible with cholelocalithiasis. And so this is a nice example of acute cholecystitis on MRI uh, with additional findings of cholelocalithiasis resulting in biliary ductal dilatation. Mm -hmm.